this installment of our little mini-series on how to get EDIUS to work with more real-time, we're going to take a look at uh, how you might have things running in the background that might be draining your resources. And the first uh, thing that I might mention is, without realizing it, you might have programs running in the background that you were working on in the past uh, before you started your edit, and you only minimized them, you didn't close them. And even though they may no longer be running full steam, they are demanding a certain amount of resources in the background. Now, if you are deliberately working back and forth between a program, say, like After Effects, where you're creating titles for Edius and you're saving them and switching over and applying them on your timeline, but then you're switching back to After Effects, to process uh, some changes and bring them back into EDIUS and you like to keep the two open and so that you can easily go back and forth, there is a place in After Effects where you can determine how much memory you are going to allow After Effects to take away from EDIUS. Go down to Memory and Multiprocessing. And here you can see at the top, you can determine how much RAM you are going to reserve for other applications. And so if you're primarily working in EDIUS and just uh, making a few changes in After Effects, you might here apply more RAM uh, to be available to EDIUS. Now I might mention at this point, uh, you might want to consider adding more RAM to your system especially if you were working on a PC where you might even have some empty slots available. If you can match up the RAM that's already there in a proper way, you might want to consider adding more RAM so that you can run more programs at once without necessarily affecting EDIUS. Now I should point out, if you are working with EDIUS 6, that's still a 32-bit program, so don't go wild and you know go out there and get 32 gigs of memory hoping that that's going to improve your, your speed in EDIUS. Because it's a, still a 32-bit program, it's probably not going to uh, benefit that much by extra RAM. But if you are working with EDIUS 7, you might want to consider in increasing your RAM. That might help out your stuttering problems in EDIUS. All right, other as let's close out of After Effects so that that's not taking away. I think we had Photoshop open here. Let's close that. When I'm making these tutorials, of course, I am running a program called Camtasia Studio 8 along with EDIUS. And uh, so that really does take a lot of resources as well. And it does not allow me to edit in EDIUS as nicely and worry-free and stutter-free as I am able to do when Camtasia is off. But I can't continue recording these tutorials if I shut that off, so we'll leave that on. And But there's something I want to point out. Um, go down here to your little arrow key uh, and click on that and notice all of the programs that I have running in the background. Uh, when you click on yours, you might get shocked at how many programs you have running in the background of your PC, especially if it's a, a little bit older PC and you haven't cleaned it off since you bought it. You could have uh, dozens of programs that are running in the background while you're trying to edit EDIUS. Now, we've showed you in the last tutorial how you can shut some of these off. Let's go ahead and again shut off our antivirus program. And you'll probably find that you could also shut off a number of these others by right-clicking on them. Let's see what we've got here. Some are important programs that are needed by your computer to run smoothly, but there are other things that are probably showing up here that you don't really need at all. Uh, for example, if you're not planning to capture screenshots, you might close out your Snagit. Skype. If you aren't playing to Skype while you're editing, you know, you might as well shut that off. You know, so take a look and see what you have running in the background. Now, rather than go through and manually shut these off every time you want to edit a project, you may decide that you want to prevent these programs from auto starting and running in the background every time you start your computer. And uh, so let me show you how to do that. Go down to your little Windows symbol here. And in the little search box here, type in msconfig, 
and as you start to type it there you may show it, see it showing up here it's the msconfig.exe that we want to click and then on the tabs up here go to startup and here as you click that tab you will get a list of programs that are starting automatically in the background every time you start your PC and so if you're wondering why your PC takes so long to start up every time and and why you might be stuttering along with some of your software these days it might be helpful for you to take a look and maybe shut some of these off so they're not auto starting for example as I look down here I don't know how all of these got onto my laptop it's a mystery sometimes how things get installed uh, for example this nuance communications I have no idea who these nuance people are uh, we don't need them to start up every time get rid of all those when you installed your printer it may have installed a suite of software that is running in the background and taking resources away from your projects uh, let's get rid of those we don't need Biongo Wi-Fi, uh, Apple Push we don't need, GV License we do need that if you want to run your edits you need to keep your GV License Manager working but I don't need the QuickBooks update I don't need Snagit if I want Snagit I can start that program you know we really don't need all of these things starting up automatically every time we start the computer iTunes probably rarely go to that you may have uh, set up a, a backup system to back up the important data of your computer to the cloud and you know you signed up to one of these internet sites that uh, will automatically do that well that's probably running in the background watching for anything that you might add and so it can automatically update it and so if you are logged onto the internet while you're working on EDIUS there's a good chance that that is uh, slowing you down as well so I'm gonna unclick all of these cloud systems that I might have connected I think I, if I want to Skype I can turn that on so we won't auto start that we don't need easy print whatever that is we want to keep uh, a lot of this stuff because if you don't have it running in the background your computer won't, won't work so uh, we want to keep anything audio, anything Intel, anything that has to do with your graphics card. We don't need um, you send it or Hightail, they call themselves now. Google update. Uh, don't need any update things going on in the background. So, so just go through your list here and uh, use your best judgment as to what you can live without as far as programs that are running in the background uh, as you work on your edits. Okay, and then hit apply, hit OK. It'll ask you to restart. I won't hit the button just yet because that'll shut down our recording program here. But um, next time you start the computer, you will find that your computer not only starts a lot faster, but you have freed up some resources now to be able to possibly run EDIUS a little faster. All right, well, I believe that that does it for part two of our tutorial. I'm saving the best to last. In our next tutorial, we are going to take a look at how you can tweak Windows itself. Windows itself actually takes a lot of resources away from the software programs that you're trying to run. However, there are a number of steps that you can take to minimize the resources that Windows itself is taking away and thus free up those resources for EDIUS. And we'll take a look at those in our next tutorial. So stay tuned, come back. We'll see you all in part three.